You need that wide range of motion, right? You see this? I got no leg restrictions, right? I can go up, I can go down, right? There ain't no gene covering up my legs here, right? That's important. So when you're gonna be working with this ladder, you gotta be able to get up and down quickly. This just might be the dumbest realtor in the world. <laughs> Folks, I don't know what to do with the real estate industry these days. The, the bar to become an agent is just so freaking low. It is maddening, okay? What I have here in my hand, okay? What this is, this is a official letter from the Ohio Division of Real Estate in regards to a complaint, okay? A complaint made about my company, Holton Wise. Now, to the Division of Real Estate's uh, credit, I, they didn't know what to do with this, this complaint either because it's so ridiculous. Essentially, what this letter says is, hey, this person made a complaint. We don't know if you've done anything that breaks any laws we're not going to try to find out if you did anything that breaks any laws. But if you did do something that does break some laws, please don't do it again. That, that, that's the extent of what the Ohio Division of Real Estate has done with this person's complaint. Because this complaint, oh my God, this must be the dumbest freaking human being in the world. I am shocked at the level of incompetence out of a fellow licensed real estate professional, okay? It's, as I film this with you, fine folk, okay? It's October, all right? Is it October? No, it's like, yeah, it's October 1st. I don't know if it was the last day of September. It's October 1st, 2021, folks. October 1st, 2021. There was an apartment building, okay, an apartment building that my company, Holton Wise, had managed between the years of 2016 and late 2018. During that time period, we hung up a sign on the wall of this building that said something to the effect of this property managed by Holton Wise, right? That makes sense. We were managing the building, okay? In late 2018, our property management contract with the owner of that uh, apartment building, it ended. And that uh, property owner chose to hire this realtor, a realtor, another realtor, to uh, begin managing his property, okay? And to my knowledge, to my understanding, based on this letter and this complaint, she is still managing that building today, October 2021, okay? Okay. Over the three years that this woman has been managing this apartment building, she has left that sign hanging up. Instead of taking down that sign over the last three years, she has left this sign up in the building that states this property managed by Holton Wise and has now chosen to file a complaint with the Ohio Division of Real Estate alleging false advertising out of Holton Wise because she is now the property manager and has been the property manager of this building for the last three years. And the sign that is hanging up in the building says this property managed by Holton Wise. So she has filed said complaint with Holton Wise. But folks, here's the thing. This is the Ask James Wise show, okay? I'm not here to shame anybody. If you're real bad at stuff, if you're real dumb, you come to the Ask James Wise show because I teach people how to do things in real estate. So to her and to any other realtor or property manager that is out there, I am going to help you. I am here to help you. What I want to do now is show you exactly how you should handle the situation if you take over a property and the previous property manager had hung up a sign stating that they were the property manager. Welcome back to the Ask James Wise Show. As I said, 
I'm not here to shame anybody. I'm not here to shame any realtor. I am here to help you guys. So if you find yourself in the situation that this particular realtor was in, where three years ago she took over a property and it had the old property manager sign hung up, I'm gonna show you how you properly handle that situation before you have to file a complaint with your state's division of real estate. Now, as you can see, I have set up a real world demonstration, but this is only a training scenario, okay? Had this been a real situation, this would be a real sign from a real property manager, but again, it's only a training, so we have used Congresswoman AOC's fathead, okay? And we have secured it to the wall, much similar to how you would see a sign secured to a real estate property. Now, what I did is I brought out this. This is a ladder. It's an A-frame ladder, green in color. Green is much like money. That's what we do in real estate. We make money. The reason for the ladder is so I can show you all that the training I am about to give to you is going to work for individuals no matter how tall or short they may be. As a matter of fact, myself, I am a relatively short man. My brother Steve here, who's handling the boom mic quite well, brother, is much larger than I am. So he may or may not need to utilize what I'm going to teach him about this particular ladder. So you're going to have to judge for yourself which and what methods of my fully intensive training you utilize. Now, one thing we need to get clear here is the proper attire. If you're going to play in the NBA, you need a basketball uniform, folks. If you're going to play in the NFL, you better have your shoulder pads, right? So what we're doing here is we're dealing with property management companies that put signs up on our buildings, right? So as a property manager, you got to dress the part. Now, what you can see, I've done a few things here. First, it's safety, okay? Got myself a helmet. Now, as you can see, I chose a very brightly colored helmet. As I did with my footwear, right? These are some yellow women's size nine Crocs, okay? I picked these up at the local Walmart on my way to work this morning. Now, the reason for the Crocs and the brightly colored helmet is you need to be cognizant of all the pedestrians that may be walking around the area, right? You need to be visually seeable, right? You don't wanna be blending in. We don't wanna be wearing camo. You want them to see you, right? You don't wanna injure a pedestrian. Now. I chose myself some cut-off jean shorts, right? You don't go ahead and buy jean shorts. You buy jeans, and then you cut them, okay? You want to make sure you can get this fray right here. Now, these are some freshly cut jean shorts. So the fray isn't coming in yet, but you can see a little bit of it starting to form. Now, the fray, that's really just for style points, but you need to make sure they're kind of, kind of short, right? Because what you need, you need that wide range of motion, right? You see this? I got no leg restrictions, right? I can go up, I can go down, right? There ain't no jeans covering up my legs here, right? That's important. So when you're gonna be working with this ladder, you gotta be able to get up and down quickly. Now, as you'll see, also got myself some knee pads, okay? When you do the jean shorts, much like when you're investing in real estate, there's good and there's bad. There's pros and there's cons to everything, right? So when you get the pro of this wide range of motion right here, okay? What you're losing, you're losing all that leg protection that the jean, the pant jean would normally supply you, right? So should you fall off the ladder, you got your knee pads. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna walk close to the wall that has the sign, okay? Now, this is gonna be different depending on what hand is your dominant hand. Myself, I'm left, okay? So you want to make sure the hand that's going to be doing the heavy lifting, make that your dominant hand, okay? So I have fully guarded my dominant hand, okay? You could get these at any local sporting goods store, a Walmart, right? It's often used for children when they rollerblade, but works great for property managers, okay? You put that on your dominant hand because one of your hands, folks, that's going to be the hand that's doing the heavy lifting. Now, again... If you're one of those tall folks like my brother, again, great job on the boom mic, brother. If you're one of those folks, you may not even need to use this step, but I am a 
I'm a shorter man, okay? So I gotta use it. So what I wanna do, I wanna firmly set the ladder, okay? The ladder's gotta be pretty firmly set. I'm about six inches from the wall here, right? And then you take, take a spot, like take just a direct eye contact with the sign you're gonna be working with, okay? And then you like to move the foot. I like to utilize the same foot that's on my dominant side, okay? And you put it up right here, okay? Right there. Let me show you guys that. Hey, come a little closer. Come on. Come, on, come a little closer. I don't want them to miss this one, right? You see that? That's again, that's why you do the multicolored shoe, right? It helps for pedestrians, but it also helps in the show so you guys don't miss nothing. I know I'm moving quick here, right? So you, you lift that foot up, okay? Then you take your, your non-dominant foot and you go ahead and you pick that up and make sure you're gripping the top of the ladder with your hands, right? Okay, so now with this particular sign, I only needed to extend off the ground one step. But every building is different, folks. You may need to go higher or less high depending on how it works, right? So just as a, a demonstration, right? I'm going up, okay? I'm going up again and I'm going up, right? See? See here? Now I'm up here at the top, right? I could be taking down signs that are this high, okay? But this, look. If you see, even though I got my dominant hand, it's above the sign. I'm too high for this sign, right? So you, you bend down like this, okay? You bend down like this, and I like to go non-dominant first on the way down, right? Non-dominant, right? Now, as you can see, we're high above the ground here, right? So that's, again, that's where that PPE comes in. Proper protective equipment. So now I'm at a pretty reasonable height, right, for this sign. So you take that dominant hand, again, make sure it's padded up. You're doing a lot of work with this hand, okay? Get that mic in here. I don't want them to miss this, right? Now, here's what you do. Can you see me from over there? Do we need to switch angles? I feel, okay, are we good? All right, so what we got? Here, let me just move the ladder a little bit. I think this might work better, okay? Now, you might not have to move the ladder, but I have to because I'm filming this, right? It's a little different, right? Just so you know, in the real world, when you're doing this, there's probably not going to be a guy holding the boom mic, right? That's just for the video demonstration, okay? So I'm up here. I'm on the second, second rung of the ladder. Get this in close. This is the fucking money shot, okay? I'm going to take, take my dominant hand. You want to slide that hand in there under the sign. Now, you see, you have the sign, your hand, and then the building, okay? You've created a gap. And then what you want to do, right? Make sure you do this. Don't, don't, don't do it with your back, right? Lift with your knees here. You're gonna pull it back. You're gonna extend it out, and you're gonna pull, you're gonna pull that arm from the wall towards your body, okay? Like this, right? And now what you've done, okay, is you have separated that old property manager sign from the building. Now this is where it gets good, right? You walk down the ladder, and the cool thing about this ladder is it's like a Swiss Army knife, honestly. It's got a lot of uses. This ladder was utilized to help me remove this sign right here, okay? Now again, don't get, this, don't get confused. I know this is not a real sign. This is just a demonstration here at the Holton Wise Sign Removal Training Facility. Had this been a real sign, it would say something to the effect of this property managed by Holton Wise, okay? But that's not necessary for the training. Now. You can utilize the ladder, again, it's like a Swiss Army knife, honestly. You can utilize this ladder to remove the old sign of the old property manager, right? But you could also, this is where it gets good, you could also utilize the same ladder to put up a new sign that has your company's contact information, right? Yeah, and you know what? If you don't want to go as high, you just don't use the ladder. And if you want to go higher, again, you can just extend your legs all the way up, right? You can get up pretty high. Like, look at this. If this was your new sign, you could slap it all the way up here. It's totally up to you now that you're the new property manager, right? You can do it however you want, right? So, folks, I hope this has been helpful, right? This is what it's all about. I am here to help real estate investors like you, real estate agents, real estate property managers, learn about real estate investing managing properties so folks if you know a property manager who took over a rental property in three years ago before they took it over there was another property manager who put up a sign on the building you show them this video 
Because I don't want to see anybody in the same situation as that poor property manager in Ohio. That poor girl didn't know what to do. Thank God I'm here. Thank God the Ask James Wise Show on Holton Wise TV is here to help folks like you so you don't run into a scenario like that again. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.